Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about a string. In this chapter, we will learn storing a string data in a Java program and performing different operations on a string data. We will perform the different operations on a string data using a string class, a string buffer, a string builder, a string tokenizer, and a string joiner classes and their methods. With the help of method and classes, we will we will perform the different different operation on a string data. Right. If we'll see what is a string, what is a string literal, and what is a string object. See here, first point. If we'll see the first point, what is a string? If we'll see the first point, a sequence of character present inside the double quotes is called a string. If we'll see a sequence of character present inside the double quotes. Here we will see here sequence of character present inside the double quotes is called a string. Right. We can say as a string which is present inside the double quotes. Every character placed inside the double quotes called as a string literal. We can say as a string literal also. Right. We are we can call also string and string literal, which is present. Why? Because it is present inside the double quotes. Okay. Right. String literal is an object which is an instance of a predefined class Java Lang string. We can say this is a string literal which is instance of a predefined class that is called a string. This is a string literal which is instance of a predefined class that is called that is called a string. This is called a string. Okay, it means in a program whenever we use the sequence of character, whenever we are using the sequence of character in a double quotes, internally new object is created from Java Lang object string. What it will do? It will create the new object inside the string constant pool. Right. Whenever we are using this like this in inside the double quotes sequence of character, what it will do? It will create the it will create the object okay inside the string constant pool which is part of the heap area right if we'll see the next point here is here is a string class object inside the what it what is happened this is a string class object inside the string constant pool right i have for example i have taken one string s is equal to phoenix if we'll see the phoenix phoenix present inside the double quotes right we can say also a string we can say also a string literal right if we'll see the first point here string class internally use the character array object for storing the given sequence of character okay if we'll see here string class internally use the character array object means it will use the character array object for storing given sequence of character whatever we have given string internally use the character array for storing the for storing the, this object in a string constant pool string constant pool in the inside the string const, constant pool it will store in the form of character array which is used by the string class right if you'll see here so every character in a storing string object will contain index start from zero if you'll see here first p p is containing index 0 which is present on the zero index right we can say so every character in in the string object every character here phoenix here is phoenix every character will be contain index will be contain index from 0 right it will contain from 0 till last index means last character up to the last character it will assign as an index form okay if we'll see here s is a not object s is a not object it is a variable s is a not object it is just a variable of a type of a string class we can say this is a just like is just like this is a variable not a object and this is an object this is actual object okay if we'll see here phoenix Phoenix is actual string object called a string as a string literal. We can say Phoenix is actual object, string object. This is a string object. This is a which is stored inside the string constant pool. Okay, this is actually object we can say. 
we can say also the as a string literal this is also as a string literal right we can use we can use string literal directly without assigning to a variable but it should be but it should be the part of the method argument what is telling this string literal we can store we can we can we can assign without assigning the variables we can we can we can use this uh, object without assigning with, without assigning to the variables yes we can use this but it should be the part of the methods method arguments right how we can use how how we can use this one see here i have created one class string literal class inside the class i am taking this out you will see here ph phoenix this is a this is a called methods this is a method right inside this method what i have written i have taken sequence of character inside the double quotes this is a see here what is telling we can use string literal directly without assigning to a variable we are not assigning to a variable we are, we are we are passing we are passing inside the method argument it is a part of the method arguments right it is not we are not assigning to a variables yes it is used directly uh, we can use string literal directly without assigning to a variable but it should be the part of the method argument yeah this is a part of the method argument it is a not we are not assigning to a variable but print ln is a method right so we, we will run and see what is uh, what is output is coming in the console we will check see here is phoenix phoenix is coming output okay right see we can without assigning to a variable we can we can use this also right it should be the part of the method this is fifth line is telling fifth point is this is this is telling but it should be the part of the method we we can use directly also right okay thank you for watching the video like and subscribe